Yo, what's going on guys? It has been about six months since my last video. I can't apologize enough. I feel like I start every video apologizing, but today we're gonna unbox, or rather, Hasbro sent me some Beyblade X. And you know what? Your boy is a month late to the party. Yes. So check this out, y'all. I got this handout. I'm officially a Baymaster. And um, this is really neat. So Hasbro sent me a bunch of Beyblade X products. If you all didn't know, Hasbro Beyblade X is out as of right now, as of today, or actually as of June 1st, Beyblade X has been out. So <laughs> this thing is covered in dust. This thing, that's how, that's how you can tell this thing just been sitting in my room. Um, but this is a pretty cool handout. It's an announcement for the first time since a while, the Beyblades are actually one-to-one -one or pretty much identical to the Takartomi or Japanese counterpart. Now, we're not gonna talk about Metal Fight because those were all so identical, but that's besides the point. Burst was actually significantly different in terms of quality. Um, however, with Beyblade X, they're nearly identical. So Hasbro <coughs> graciously sent me um, a bunch of products for free and today we're actually gonna unbox them all today. Because I'm just so late, I figured I'm gonna spend the next 30 minutes talking about my life again, giving you all a life update while, while also unboxing these Billy products. But guys, can we represent? What did, what did I used to call you all? I feel like I used to call you all Putty Squad, Beyblade Mod Squad, whatever you wanna call yourselves, represent. Can we get a like below? Can we get at least 100 likes? Because it's been forever and my channel may be dead. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Yo, check this out, y'all. We got all these bays. This is crazy. I can't even, I can't even show them off here. Well, I'm grabbing them backwards. So let me, let me just flip these around, but we got the whole shebang. <coughs> I want to say this is, um, most of the first wave, Sore Phoenix, Helm Knight, um, Arrow Wizard. We got the whole shebang here, guys. Um, the only thing that I didn't get, I don't think, was the uh, boosters, uh, the exclusives, the Steel Samurai, Talon Petra, all that. But we're going to unbox those today, guys. So um, make sure y'all buckle in. We're going to talk about my life again. We're going to give y'all enough to, a life update. <coughs> and I'm stumbling over my words because <coughs> I'm coughing over these this dust in the room right now. These Beyblades are covered in dust because it's been so long since I've touched them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to a close up. And before we get into the unboxing stuff, I do have a couple of announcements. Number one, I do still have an eBay store, Kevo Beyblade Shop. I've actually had a few of you reach out and just check in on me. Thank you for that. Um, yes, it is an eBay store run by me, just myself. I personally um, import Beyblades from Japan as well as use some of my personal collection and I have been listing on, or I have been selling on eBay for the better part of the last three years now. So if you want a way to support me directly, by all means, go check it out. I have a link right here on the screen as well as down below. Um, again, it's just a way to support me. Uh, you don't have to, but I do have a number of Burst, Metal Fight, and a little bit of X items for sale. I have over 250 listings right now. So if you wanna go check it out, that would be a huge help for me because I am still, and I'll talk about this later, but I am still using eBay primarily to pay off my student debt. So it is going to a good cause. And again, it's a nice way to support me. The other announcement I have is I do have a Discord server. Again, who would have thought I'd have a Discord server? I'm actually running it with one other Baytuber and a personal friend of mine, Exotics. Um, it is called Bay Studio. Now this server is a server primarily for um, my partnership with Exotics. So you're more than welcome to join. The link will be here as well as down below. Um, <clears throat> please be respectful to one another, but it is a way to get in touch with either myself or Exotics. We also are using it to um, advertise our eBay stores, but you can also check in with us. So again, go check it out. It's a nice way to just get in touch. Here we go. I guess I'll start off by saying, Hasbro, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, forgive me. I'm a month late, but I'm back. So <laughs> um, we're gonna get started. This is the first Beyblade I wanna look at, obviously, Swordron 360F. Now the packaging, let's start with the packaging. Um, it is basically the Takar Tomi packaging, but inverted in terms of the color scheme. Um, I'll post a picture of the Takar Tomi uh, packaging here. I don't have it on me anymore, I already tossed it out. So packaging, you know, for what it's worth, and this disc is nothing against Hasbro, I find the X packaging to be a little too sleek and too modern. 
Um, I get where they're going though. They're definitely trying to go for a more minimalistic slash kind of sporty approach, which is completely fine. But there's something about Metal Fight packaging that just, it's just, you know, it's perfect, right? I'll post a picture here. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Metal Fight packaging just, just kind of hit different, but I, I was really secretly hoping that we'd go back to Metal Fight-esque aesthetic. Didn't happen this time around and that's fine. X is its own thing, so I shouldn't be expecting that. But yeah, it's basically an inverted Kartomi packaging. The other thing I have to mention though is, and this is so sick, y'all. The Beyblade is visible from the outside. Now, Burst never did this for, for Hasbro. It was always, you know, it had its own type of packaging. But this takes me back to anyone who's over the age of, I don't know, 18. Um, this takes me back to those vintage Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, starter decks, decks, uh, tins, tins um, anything that had like a window so that you could see on the inside, that's freaking sick. Like the fact that they incorporated that to Beyblade, I never saw that coming. And there's something about seeing the Beyblade just through the packaging that's so awesome. Uh, there's another way to describe it. Big, big plus um, for Hasbro on that. Now, you can actually even see the Takara Tomy logo. So what you're getting is what you're seeing. It is a Takara Tomy Beyblade. And again, the back of the packaging is pretty straightforward. Um, sorry if my light is a little or glaring it's again due to the fact that this packaging is just a little glossy from the outside so my lighting is really just bouncing off um, but you can kind of make out the stats this is sword drawn 360 f so um, the name the nomenclature for beyblade x when it comes to the english translation they seem to be inverting it because in japan they call it drawn sword whereas with uh hasbro it's sword drawn not a big deal i honestly don't mind it it's a lot better than what they did last gen around or the last gen where they completely just butchered the names and again i'm not holding that against you hasbro that was all in the past we've we all change over time right um anyway packaging though it is still really sleek at the end of the day and as far as i can tell i believe msrp or retail pricing is relatively affordable i want to say these starters are about 9.99 which Thank you, because in 2024, inflation is insane. The fact that they can price these uh, affordably is awesome. Um, now that you have access to these, anyone who's in the US, um, you can honestly bypass importing them from Japan and paying any kind of fees that might be associated with that. And the biggest elephant in the room that we need to talk about though is the let it rip. So this is so cool. Obviously in America or basically anywhere that is in Japan, the slogan has always been let it rip as in, you know, rip, you know, pull the rip cord, let it rip. However, this time around, um, they incorporated it into the packaging. And if you can see here, there's a tab that you actually have to rip to get to the Beyblade. So that's freaking sick. I'm going to try to do it myself on camera. This is the first time I do this. So here we go. We're going to count down three, two, one. Yo, it kind of worked. <laughs> so if you do that, you get into the packaging. That's so neat, right? Um, and then I want to say it kind of, you can kind of just tear it apart from there. Um, I feel bad doing that now. I thought that could like tear the box entirely, but you know what? I had my handy, trusted Japanese box cutter knife still in pristine condition. Check this out, y'all. Beautiful. Okay, so let's cut this open. Um, again, I'm really stoked for Hasbro Beyblade X and just X in general. If, if you all haven't believed me, I'm actually caught up with Beyblade X as of right now. I've been buying releases behind the scenes. I've been making videos and that's what I wanted to segue into is uh, just a life update. You know, life for me has been um, pretty, uh, you know, I've been a little bit of everywhere, <laughs> put it that way. So, oh, there is a launcher included with this. I didn't even realize. So. Check this out, this is a proto launcher. I mean, it looks like a proto launcher from the Burst series. It's honestly, it's a ripcord launcher. It's tiny. Judging by the size of it and the amount of rotations, this might just get the job done for a three-year-old or four-year-old. Um, get yourself a string launcher or another ripcord launcher. Um, I feel like this, it's great because it's included. So again, props to Hasbro for that. We've got the instruction booklet. 
Um, I think it's just gonna break it down for you as far as, you know, how to, how to assemble the Beyblade. I had no clue how to assemble these <coughs> until I uh, had to watch a video. So we'll, we'll go over that today even. On um, how to assemble a Beyblade, it, it literally breaks it down. It's a very simple concept. It's a three-part system as of right now. I'm sure it'll get more complex. Um, here are the 360 and the F parts. They're in a nice little plastic baggie. Um, now, in Burst, they actually went to an eco-friendly packaging where it was in paper bags. So I'm kind of glad they went back to the plastic. To be honest, it looks a bit more clean, but I understand, you know, the environment and stuff. So, wow, I had to tear this open because this sword drawn is completely sealed in the box. So that's kind of a bummer. It's a little bit hard to preserve the packaging unless you literally don't open the Beyblade. <laughs> um, but that's all right, y'all. So let's go ahead and crack this open. And yeah, as far as life, um, you know, uh, without getting into too many specifics, um, I've had a lot of fun in the last five months, maybe a little too much fun. Um, I wasn't really prioritizing a lot of what I needed to do in my life. So um, got a little distracted in life. I'll, I'll just put it that way. But um, otherwise, I've been just really busy with work. Again, if you guys can imagine, I'm working full time now as a 25 year old adult. Um, most of my time, unfortunately, Monday through Friday, it is dedicated to work. And I, I work a pretty busy job, a job that just requires a lot out of me. I can't tell you all where I work, but when I say I work, I do put a lot of work in. So me being the introvert, introvert that I am, I'm usually drained at the end of the day. And I use the weekends to kind of just recharge my social battery because it does require me to be social a lot. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, a job is a job, it is what it is, but I'm trying to practice strategies so that I can better balance work in my personal life, which also includes coming back to YouTube. Again, my full intentions are to come back fully. Um, ideally, I'd like to upload once a week. I feel like that's pretty reasonable. I do miss you all, by the way. Um, there isn't a day where I don't think about YouTube. And even Illinok, of all people, commented on my videos. Check it out. He's been re reaching out to me. That's so kind of him. I'm so happy he's reaching out to me. I never would have thought he'd be that concerned for me. Um, so shout out Illinok, go check him out. I've heard he's back too, he's posting videos, that's fantastic. Um, without further ado, I have sword drawn and let's take a look at the blade. Ooh, that is a very nice shiny metal. Now this is a QR code that's for the app, which I believe is also out. There's a Beyblade X app that you can download right now. Completely different from Takara Tomy, but that's fine. This is just their way of incorporating it. Um, you know, just off rip, this looks pretty much identical to TT. I don't, I don't really see any cosmetic differences. Everything down to the, to the parts, to the colors, to the finish. I'm convinced at this rate that it's literally just repackaged TT. Um, again, I'm not seeing any difference, so. Yeah, I do have the Takara Tomy version here, um, so I'll compare it real quick. This one's, a, it's not as beat. I haven't had a chance to use my, my x base that much, but if we do a quick comparison, just side by side. Oh, and this is how you assemble X, by the way. Let me, let me just show you all. So, really simple, you take the, the blade, you take the ratchet, you line it up, turn it to the left until it clicks, and then you just insert the uh, bit, is that what you call it? I think it's the bit, boom, ready to go. So on the right is Kartomi, on the left is Hasbro. This is nearly identical. You, you can honestly just put them side by side and no one would tell the difference. So I ended up paying, I wanna say close to 15 or 20 bucks for this. Guys, if you find these in your stores, you might as well just scoop it there. So that's very convenient. And shout out Hasbro again. They are staying loyal to the uh, Japanese counterpart. So yeah, you know, for the most part, I've been doing a lot of IRL stuff. Um, again, just having fun, meeting people, spending time with people. Um, again, as far as everything else in my life, I've been working really hard on my eBay, um, which funnily enough, as a eBay reseller now, I can tell you it does require a lot of work, uh, just finding inventory listing inventory, 
um, packing up orders, which by the way, if you wanna see me packing up orders, I'm actually thinking about doing that. I might do a YouTube Shorts series about that or a YouTube video. Let me know if you wanna see anything involving the eBay side of things as a reseller. I, I'm kind of just open to all ideas. Um, here's the second Beyblade though. This is Scythe Incendio 460T. So um, <clears throat> this is basically the English translation of Hellscythe. I can definitely see why they went from Incendio to Hellscythe. Funnily enough, Incendio means, uh, I believe it means fire in Spanish. So not sure where we're going, you know, in that direction for, for the name, but I get the, the reason to rename it. So we're gonna do the fun part though. We're gonna let it rip. Boom. Oh, the parts came out with it. Sweet, so yeah, I just realized I gotta just trash these boxes, unfortunately. But can we just appreciate that you can see the Beyblade right through it? This is so freaking sick. I can't, can't get over that. Please Hasbro, continue doing that for the rest of the Beyblade X releases. Um, that is a huge, huge plus. It just takes me back to those days when I could go to like the store and um, I grew up pretty poor growing up. So I would look at the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I'd see the tins. I'd be like, oh my gosh, mom, I want this. And they'd be like, no, you can't. So uh, throwback, you know, it's just some childhood memories. Here is Chain Incendio though. Let's uh, crack it open. Um, yeah, so like I mentioned earlier, I use my eBay and mainly my job to pay off my student loans. I'm actually really close to paying them off. I'm very proud of that. I've been working on my student debt for the last three years, and I'm finally getting close to finishing it up. And look, this is, uh, gosh, what did we call it? Scythe Incendio, AKA Hell Scythe. This might be my favorite Beyblade. The only problem I have with it is that it's not black and white. So I love black and white Beyblades, but I have yet to see a black and white Hell Scythe. If they made one, I might as well make it my channel icon, but uh, this Beyblade is dangerous. If you can't tell, the edges are very sharp and they will cut up other Beyblades. I've used this Beyblade a lot. This might actually be my most used Beyblade and I see literal chunks of metal fly off the other Beyblades whenever I use this. And uh, just so you can see, this is my Takaratomi one and the contact points are getting rounded off at this point, but Look how freaking beat it is. And yeah, this thing will take chunks off other metal um, pieces. And if I run my hands across it, I can literally feel where it's sharp. I can almost cut myself just doing that. So that's kind of nuts. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this now. I'm glad we're going back to metal contact points. The designs can't be as crazy, so to speak. Uh, there's a lot more rounded designs, but they do hit a lot harder than burst and i think you all as someone who was who grew up with metal fight i think that's one thing that we missed so any metal fight fans out there sh shout out to you um go to represent i'm you know i grew up with metal fight i'm not gonna front i i do like the fact that we're back to metal contact but yeah this thing's dangerous i'll, I'll put it that way um, and again, easily, this might still be my favorite Beyblade. I think it's just really basic. It hits like a truck, like never bursts, and it will cut up your other Beyblades. So, so nice. Okay, um, I've got a few more releases. Gosh, I don't want to make this video too long, but I don't mind talking about just life stuff with you all. Um, here, we have uh, Helm Knight, aka uh, Night Shield. Um, so this is one of Multi's Beyblades, and I'm also caught up with the anime. Um, I'm wondering if anyone can answer if the anime has premiered in the US yet. Honestly, the anime is a completely different take on Beyblade in general. I would say it's definitely the most realistic that we've seen. There are literal Baytubers, y'all, in the anime. Without spoiling anything, there's an actual Baytuber character. That's so cool. They're finally recognizing us as part of the community. Um, there's sponsors, there's AI. Uh, characters, there's um, literal like, it just seems really realistic, um, which may or may not be a, th a good thing for some of y'all. I know Metal Fight was like the ultimate fantasy kind of esque anime with the world falling apart one minute during the Nemesis Crisis or Beyblades hitting skyscrapers. Um, and then Burst was kind of that in between. I feel like it started off very just uh, down to earth with just battles at, at Bagom Academy and then eventually saving 
uh, not the world, but Phi was going crazy at one point, and so was Shu. So it definitely got a little bit less realistic. X in general, though, I think given the concept, <coughs> excuse me, I think given the concept of X, they are treating it like a sport. And I think that's what TT's vision is this time around, is treating Baylu like a sport. So the anime is centered around these three characters who are, their, their goal is to just work together and climb the X Tower, which is basically a tower with the most skilled bladers in the city, and they have to reach the top. So very simple concept, but you see a really nice dynamic between the three characters. You've got the, you got Bird, the guy who just, is the underdog. You've got Multi, who's like an influencer-esque blader, who's also very talented. She also models Beyblades. Can we appreciate that 3D printing and modeling Beyblades is also in Beyblade now? Like it's finally being acknowledged. Um, and then uh, you've got Exu, who's like the just OP kind of character. Like he's just him. He's just him. So anyway, um, that was a little tangent on the anime. I've actually come to enjoy it. Um, it does have a slight slow pace to it at the beginning, but it, then it, it does pick up and the battles are pretty exciting. Um, so here's Helm's Knight, and oh my gosh, these colors just pop. Uh, this green, it's like a nice lime green. Very, very nice. Um, this is one of those Beyblades that just, you know, it's nice. It's a solid defense type. Um, I don't really customize my X-Base, forgive me, so I use it primarily stock. And this thing can tank a few attacks for sure. So... Here it is, and we'll compare it again with the TT counterpart. Um, because of my battles with Hellsight, this thing is all like, just kind of sharp and chipped off in some places, but nearly identical. There's really no, hardly any difference. So that is so neat, guys. Look at that. Very, very shiny though. I'm surprised these don't have a clear coat. If, if y'all didn't notice, by the way, a lot of the newer releases for TT um, actually have a clear coat. So here is uh, Vice Tiger, which this might be my second favorite Beyblade right now. It's actually got a whole clear coat on the metal. That's why it looks a little bit kind of oxidized. Um, not sure if TT or Hasbro is gonna incorporate that with their releases, but I thought it'd be something to point out just because um, I'm not really sure what their tactic is as far as CT, unless it was just to prevent oxidation. Um, anyway, I also have Arrow Wizard. Here we go. So, <clears throat> as far as other things in my life, um, shout out to all of you who've reached out to me since my last video. I, I kind of am doing the same thing where I'm talking about life, but um, when I say I burned a lot of bridges in my time in the community for the last two or three years prior to my hiatus, um, I really did burn a lot of bridges. So shout out to anybody that reached out and uh, I was able to make amends with. That invite is still open. Anyone who would like to chat with me and just talk about things, I'm more than happy. Um, I am not here for drama, by the way. I'm honestly, again, as an adult who's 25, I just don't really have time for Beyblade drama. And I think the words Beyblade and drama shouldn't go together anyway. I think that's just very silly. I think we should all just appreciate spinny tops, you know? Is that too much to ask for? Um, I've got enough, I've got enough going on in my personal life IRL, so. Um, anyway, if you all want to possibly reach out to me, my, uh, I'm always available. And here is Arrow Wizard, so. Yeah, um, with that being said, my mental health has been, eh, it's been kind of on and off, I'll put it that way. Um, just because of some recent events in my life that I can't really get into. Um, you know, I've, I've taken some time to just journal and really just reflect on a lot of things. And I've come to realize that I was just really upset in some ways that I wasn't making videos for you all. So um, YouTube and Beyblade specifically kind of are my therapy um, because I get to make content for you all and it makes me feel good inside. Um, it's really that simple. So that's another reason why I'm coming back, just for my mental health. And again, I'm gonna try my best to actually make a full comeback. If you have any ideas as far as videos, let me know. But this is Arrow Wizard. This Beyblade is one of those Beyblades that just kinda, it does its own thing. Like, I've seen this thing tank attacks, I've seen it parry. It performs just like the anime portrays it to be. Um, and this is another one of Multi's bays. So sick though. Check it out. So let's just assemble it real quick. And it's so pretty. Um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of yellow Beyblades, if I'm being honest, but um, 
you know, they made it work. It looks real nice. Here's the TT counterpart. I don't use this bay lid enough. It's one of those underrated bays, but you can tell it's definitely used. Um, I feel like the colors are maybe just slightly off as far as the bit, or I'm imagining things. I'm also uh, pretty colorblind myself, but yeah, check it out. All right, now this might be a controversial release, um, I would say. Now, Keel Shark is the English translation for Shark Edge, which was a random booster prize that I believe up until this coming out was close to $60. I paid about 40 for mine. Um, you could argue Hasbro doing this is a blessing because you don't need to buy a random booster, try your luck, or buy a confirmed. As a Beyblade reseller though, I will say that probably has impacted market. Now, I don't really sell Beyblade X right now, but I can see this long-term affecting the price of Kill Shark or Shark Edge. Again, that's just, there's just two ways to look at it, but for the most part, it is a big win and that you don't have to pay a lot out of pocket for this Beyblade. And it's just, again, it's an easy Beyblade to get now as a booster. So this is Kill Shark. And again, this is a booster you can tell because it's a slimmer package and you don't see any launcher or any mention of that. So we're gonna just let it rip. So yeah, as a Beyblade reseller, I've, I've learned a lot about just Beyblade and also just how to run a business, so to speak. Um, now counting YouTube, because YouTube for me, once upon a time, I it was sort of my job and then now not so much though with y'all support that could you know possibly happen again just saying you know if y'all stick around and watch my videos here are the instructions though um <clears throat> again i've come to realize that markets and selling beyblades it's not as easy as it looks it does take a lot of time and uh, commitment i started out of the blue like three years ago and it's it's been pretty well so far um and again the ebay market it's it's pretty competitive i'm not gonna i'm not gonna front um, and again, buying inventory and, and all that jazz, it takes a lot of work, but um, I find a lot of joy in it actually, it, you know, getting my name out there and selling Beyblades left and right. Um, I do have my little Beyblade shop, which I can call my business. So here is uh, Shark Edge or Kill Shark. Now this Beyblade, believe it or not, is what got me into Beyblade X. I was on the fence for the longest time. Um, I was actually talking to my buddy Exotics. Um, and he's like, dude, they made a shark Beyblade and it looks so freaking majestic. Look at it. I think, I don't know if it's the purple. I don't know if it's the shape. It's just so magnificent. And it's owned by a really cool blader in the anime. And look at it. It's just so gorgeous. So, um, I, when I got the, uh, Takartomi version, I was so freaking impressed by its beauty. Like you can tell this one's pretty beat. I mean, it's not like severely beat, but I almost feel bad using it. Now though, that I have a replacement or a backup, um, I'm actually like more inclined to use it now because this thing also hits hard like a truck and that blade is gorgeous. Look at it, it's just so beautiful. Never thought I'd see another Shark Bay blade. The last one was uh, Thermal Pisces and you know, we got another one just like it. So Shark Bay blades are sick, what can I say? Now, saving the best for last, it is Soar Phoenix. Here's another of a somewhat just puzzling release. I wouldn't call it controversial. Um, this thing is fantastic, number one. Can we, again, appreciate the see-through Beyblade? Beautiful. You also get a string launcher. So this is nearly identical to the Takartomi starter for way more affordable of a price. You don't need to import it and you get the whole launcher. Everything is accurate. The only thing that I'm just kind of iffy about is that this Beyblade doesn't premiere in the anime well into, until like, I can't even remember the episode number and it came out relatively early in stores. Um, not sure what the logic was there, maybe in just having people get it before the anime shows it off, but my understanding was that the anime would always kind of tease the new release before it hits shelves. Then again, I know Hasbro has a different release schedule and I can't remember what Burst was like. I know it was Waves, um, but this Beyblade is just definitely something that comes out that I thought would come out later in the year. Um, but I also don't know where Hasbro's, you know, advertising's at. Maybe they're trying to push a lot of products right off the bat just for popularity's sake. Um, so I'm gonna let you cook Hasbro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear you out. Hopefully y'all are doing the right thing as far as pushing this pretty early. But this is one of the most powerful Beyblades in Beyblade X right now, in fact, 
The blade, I think, is still the heaviest, which is nuts. And it comes with a freaking string launcher, y'all. So this is Soar Phoenix 960 GF. And uh, GF, get it? You know, that's so cool. All right, pull a fast one. That's pretty, I don't know, that's kind of cool that they, uh, you know, have a little slogan for this. Um, I'm wondering if uh, the character, the owner, will mention it in the anime. That'd be kind of sick. Um, I don't see a let it rip um, tab on this, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Um, here's that the uh, Extreme or Beyblade X Stadium. Um, I do have the whole set, but I figured I'd make that a different video just for time's sake. But this is my last um, starter that I'm going to open up. So again, 960 GF, Soar Phoenix. It's a right spin bay and it's painted and it's gorgeous. So we're gonna crack it open. Let's see, okay, boom. So I believe the price for this MSRP or retail, I wanna say it's close to 20 bucks. You're getting a really good bargain. You're getting a very powerful Beyblade um, as far as performance and you're getting a string launcher. Now we're gonna see if the launcher is one-to-one -one or comparable to the Tsukartomi counterpart. Um, look at that, y'all, this is so nice. Okay, uh, this might be a little bit difficult to get out. We're gonna try though. All right, I'm back. So my camera decided to stop recording and I finally noticed before I would have kept going. So we're gonna try to crack this open and for whatever reason, it's just not, it's not working, yo. It's not working, yo. If you know, you know. <laughs> that was an inside joke, y'all. Okay, boom. All right, and we have the instructions. But before we get to that Beyblade, let's, let's just look at the launcher. This is nice, they kind of secured it in a piece of cardboard. Boom. Well, right off the bat, I think the color might be a slightly lighter red I, I might be imagining things again i'm pretty colorblind black string this thing feels smooth um at the bottom you see a little black stamp here uh that's not on the tt one I, I don't have access to my red one right now um actually i think i think i actually have both of them on ebay so i don't even have the tt one to compare it with um other than my black one but yeah this feels nearly identical to the japanese one so Go ahead and get it, y'all. It, you know, this is the weirdest thing is Beyblade X might be the first generation where the ripcord launcher is the same, if not better, than the string launcher as far as strength. Um, unless I might be remembering things wrong, and Metal Fight, the ripcord launcher was kind of meh, and Burst, terrible. Um, in Plastic Gen, it might have been the best launcher, but for X, they made their launchers, and I'm not talking not talking this, but I'm talking the actual launchers, um, which actually, before I forget, I do have that here. So we're gonna talk about that. But um, these launchers are l better, if not the same than this, but I'm still a string launcher guy at the end of the day. I have been since uh, 2011 at this rate. Um, it's just more convenient for myself as a uh, solo Beyblader. I don't really have anybody to play Beyblades with. Unfortunately, it's a, it's a cold wor world out there. Uh, anyway, this seems great. So, Soar Phoenix, yes. Um, am I, you know what? We're gonna take a closer look at this uh, little sticker here, the motif. But let's uh, crack it open. And I gave myself a cut earlier, so it just, it's like a little paper cut, it stings. Thought it might have been because I was unboxing these Beyblades, but nope. Boom. This is Soar Phoenix, and it is the so far the only painted um, Hasbro X release. It's a nice red and yellow, almost like McDonald's color scheme. If you're a fan of McDonald's, this might be your Beyblade. I'll just tell you that. Um, again, it will chip at the end of the day because it's painted, but it's very pretty while you while it's still new. Uh, once it's used and abused, it looks kind of iffy because it's all worn out. Um, gear flat, this is probably the loudest bit right now in existence. It's so freaking loud in the stadium. Um, it's kind of unreal. And then we're going to just put it together. Boom. 
So this wheel weight is not only super fast, but also um, very heavy. So that's why it includes this. You should be using a string launcher or again, a rope cord launcher to launch this thing. Um, and the whole premise behind it is that it's supposed to be the fastest Beyblade um, topping even a uh, drawn sword. So that's pretty cool. Um, now comparing it to the TT release, I didn't notice a significant difference. Um, I'm just noticing it right now. So if you look at the, uh, I feel like I'm imagining, am I imagining things? But it almost seems like the sticker's just not as vibrant and it, it looks a little bit off-centered. Again, I might be imagining things, but um, that's like the most minor cosmetic complaint I can make. Other than that, it's practically identical. Everything down to like the branding, the stamp, um, this Phoenix is the TT one and I just got it like a couple of weeks ago actually so I haven't even used it that much. Uh, I definitely need to make time in my life to Beyblade again just because again I feel like it's just a, one of my forms of therapy at this rate. I've also been journaling myself uh, again. been taking up journaling and just uh, eating healthier. At 25 I'm realizing uh, health is important y'all so if you're still young you know maybe do some healthy habits. I love that. All right, so this is the Ripcord Launcher. Um, I don't even know if this is in stores yet. I don't think I've seen many people with it, but this is sick, right? So, you know, Hasbro released it individually. So the original four releases of TT um, did include this launcher just by default, and that's fine. Um, I get it from a cost standpoint. It makes, it makes more sense to release this individually. So check this out, get your gears in motion, tournament grade. And they're not wrong with this. This, again, is arguably the most strongest launcher um, in Beyblade X. So we're gonna crack this one open as well. Um, there is no um, let it rip on the box. Intense speed at velocidad intensa. Yo, I know Spanish, actually. Um, I am Hispanic. So I'm a little bit of Spanish. Let's see if there's anything else in Spanish we can read. Lanzador de acceleración. That just means launcher of acceleration. Um, kind of an interesting way to phrase it, I guess. I'm just looking for Spanish words to say. Uh, nivel de torneo. Yeah, this is so cool. So um, I also want to mention, I believe Beyblade X has been released internationally by Hasbro again. And I have friends in Chile that have received it. I have friends in Mexico that have received it. Um, I believe it's hit Europe. Like, uh, I have a friend in, in England, um, they've all received it. So shout out Hasbro for getting distribution under control this time around. I know with Burst, it was a little bit spotty, but everything seems to be just on point. And the launcher again, it's just the launcher, but this is arguably one of the best launchers. Now pro tip, and I might actually make a video. You can actually straighten these out. All you have to do is get your uh, bathroom sink, fill it with warm water, stick it in there for about a minute, and then pull it straight and then run it under cool water and it'll loosen up the plastic and straighten it out. So you wanna do that first, but just for demonstration's sake, we're gonna insert it here and boom, you got your launcher. So you're gonna attach your Beyblade and you're gonna pull. Check it out, it also free spins after you release it. So um, these launchers are bulletproof, I've been told. I, I don't think I've seen anybody break one of these. The string launchers on the other hand, they do, I hear, break over time. Whereas these are just super stable. So again, one of the best launchers you can get. Uh, I don't know what pricing is for this, but I'd guess it'd probably be anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks. Can't go wrong with these. You might as well get one. Um, and yeah, so these, this is the lineup. Um, again, there's a few releases that I'm missing. Um, there's a Tusk Mammoth set, which I can open in a separate video. There's a few double packs and there's a few Hasbro exclusives like Steel Samurai, Talon Patera, uh, Knife Shinobi. I believe those are the ones. Um, but this is the main lineup. I would encourage any of you who are just getting to Beyblade X to check out your local Target. Um, Walmart, I believe Walmart, Target, and GameStop has them if you're in North America. As far as elsewhere, I'm not sure as far as retailers, but check out your nearest retailer that you usually are used to carry Beyblades. You'll probably find them there. Yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video though. Expect an upload once a week. And if I don't, then I will make one as soon as I can. Um, and I appreciate you all sticking around to this to the end. It's been a while. Um, I'm happy. Big X is back. 
and it's here to stay. And I'm kind of excited to see what's going to come of Vivid X. There's a lot of neat gimmicks, new releases still being made. Um, I'm excited for the community, though. I'm happy to be back for you all and uh, just stay tuned. I, I've got, I do have some ideas that I'd like to make into a reality. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.